So I initially, I, at the time when I received the email t- that I had won the award, I was working through a problem with my colleague and I was like, oh God. And then she was like, what's wrong? You know, what's wrong with the problem? And then I was like, oh, I just got an email from the BHS to say that I'd achieved the, the, the Ted King Award. And I was very surprised. I had heard of the awards and the, op- the various ones that were out there, but I kind of thought I was very early on in my career to be, to be getting one. And I found the exam itself very difficult, very challenging, but it was a great surprise and it was really fantastic honor to have that um, in my belt. I was delighted um, that the hard work that I'd done over the past few years actually paid off and that my study was actually recognized, not just by myself and my colleagues, but by, by the BHS. Um, for my PLP, it was, it was difficult to start off, but because I work in so many different industries for the consultancy, um, it just made it easier to kind of collate all the work that I had done because I'd covered nearly every aspect of the, of the certification. And then the oral itself was difficult, but once I, um, well, it was difficult and I was, I was very, very nervous to have to go through it with everyone. Um, but once I started talking to the examiners, um, they kind of just flowed and it seemed really natural. It was just like any other day in the office, kind of working through different problems, coming up with different solutions and talking about the, the alternatives to it. Um, but I really, when I look back over the, the oral itself, I'm kind of proud of what I've done. I think you tend to look back and see the negatives of what you've achieved. But now looking back, I see that it was very positive. So as part of our consultancy, we often get, um, like I was quite a junior member, so we, we tend to get in junior members um, into our consultancy as well. And it's one of the first things I tell them, I'm like, every day you're going on site, just make a mental note of what you've done, kind of the different challenges you had, and just jot them down because it will benefit you for your certification. And then kind of work through the different problems. If I see that they're struggling, I would you know give them some advice, but then I would also make sure that they're learning themselves through it. Um, any sort of challenges they hit, I kind of tor- direct them towards where they need to do their research. And I always tell them, look, it's going to benefit you if you do the research now for your certification. Um, and I think for anyone that's that's going through it, just take those mental notes down every time you're doing a different project. Every time you see something challenging, just record it and learn from it. Now that I, I have that, um, my certification, I'm now working towards my diploma. But during the early stages of my career here, I've had a lot of help from my senior consultants. I've had a lot from my, a lot of help from Mike Slater, and I wanted to utilize that to kind of mentor other people and to also um, probably start training and start teaching teaching students um, in the BOHS modules and to also start teaching maybe grad, graduate students. And I understand that that's something that is in the pipeline. So hopefully in five years, I will have developed the skill set to start training people. Um, here at Shore Control Safety, we already offer the BOHS modules. So we're kind of working towards delivering those modules ourselves. And that's something that I can work towards with the senior consultants here, as well as Mike Slater. And I see that as something that's very important because I've learned a lot over the years. I thought that I can teach people from the early stages of my career, how I benefited um, and developed my, my skill sets and the lessons I have learned and the mistakes I've made to then help them to, to be better occupational hygienists. I didn't think that I had the skill set to teach other people, but this award has given me that inspiration that yes, I probably I probably will be well suited to, to teaching other people that are developing and trying to achieve their, their certification. I'm not sure what direction occupational hygiene will go for me. As, as a consultancy, we, we still have queries coming in and a lot of the time it is um, discussing the problem, planning to do um, an assessment and then hopefully fulfilling that further down the line. Um, I, f- I feel like my occupational hygiene work has, has been the same before COVID and after COVID. Um, guaranteed doing a noise survey is now a little bit more challenging when you're approaching operators to, to, to discuss um, their work exposure patterns, you know, to take care of doing um, but for me, I feel like it hasn't changed much other than a heightened awareness of personal space. So when you're applying equipment to operators that you, you're aware of their personal space, you're aware of the time you're spending with them. Um, I think it's just made me more aware of uh, kind of the boundaries of um, people's personal space and making sure that you're not in close contact with them for a lot of the time. Um, but as, my, as for the future of occupational hygiene, 
um, I think it's just it's going to it's always going to be it's always going to be present. I really appreciated um, appreciated that you did the virtual awards and that you you took the time to give us our moment um, to to kind of promote ourselves and then also for me to be able to put it up on my LinkedIn that is definitely a boost for for me and for you to support that that's great.